Hey folks, Kevin here. Well, it's October 14th, 2020. It's fall now and uh, the trees are all losing their leaves. They've already turned beautiful colors, but they're, it's like a snowstorm with all the leaves coming down out here. And since it's fall, one of the jobs I've got to do is take care of any transplants that I need to take care of around here. And for years, uh, when it comes to transplanting certain trees, certainly your nut trees and your pine trees, because of the presence of a very long taproot, it can be a challenge. And uh, we do everything we can do to try and get as much of the taproot out of the ground as possible, but it becomes exceedingly more difficult, number one, because of the property we're on. It's so bony, so, gra so heavy gravel that that is an issue. The second issue is often I'm waiting until later on when, like I've made videos of shooting, uh, sh shot videos demonstrating moving walnut trees, oak trees, and, and a variety of other trees as well. And, uh, and one of the things that, that I would say is the challenges are not just the, the bony ground, but when we're talking about nut trees and pine trees, they're known for their long tap roots. Well, two other trees that I wasn't aware of until I started growing them here, uh, that also have significant tap roots are the persimmons, the American persimmons tree, and the pawpaws. And, uh, and I had never gotten successfully anything that was, oh, this high off the ground, uh, you know, four or five foot off the ground, uh, gotten the whole tap root out with persimmons trees and all. And behind me here is one of our pawpaws. And, uh, she, you know, she must have put, produced fruit last year. Usually they come in a cluster of, uh, a fruit uh, from one uh, flowering uh, area and uh, and there weren't any fruit this year because I checked several times and the fruit drop when they're ripe and one of the seeds must have gone ahead and uh, and and set roots and so today I was moving one of the honey locusts that was right next to this pawpaw it was actually a little bit too close I moved that up to uh, to the uh, to, to a living fence line and when I did, and I really dug down quite a ways for this uh, honey locust, but one of the good things in this area is this is one of those back to Eden areas. So I've got a couple feet deep of uh, wood chips. And when I was digging out the honey locust, I noticed there was a pawpaw there. About a 15 inch tall pawpaw. And I'll show you that. So this is the pawpaw tree. Uh, that was right next to the uh, base of the locust tree. And as I mentioned, there's a good two feet of wood chips there. I've been adding uh, wood chips to this area for quite some time. But I want to show you the length of this. Actually, it's 14 and a half or 15, or 15 and a half inch uh, trunk from this is the point here where, where it emerged from the soil surface. It's got a little bit of a corkscrew area down here. And then we get to a 61 inch taproot. Uh, this is the first successful taproot that I got all the way uh, out and what it did was it actually wrapped its way around some of the honey locusts and uh, and then from about here it just shot straight down and with the benefit of using the mini excavator since I had kept pushing this to the side I kept it able to dig down and dig down so digging down uh, five foot in the ground in order to get this 14 and a half or 15 and a half inch tall uh, pawpaw out of the ground. And then uh, I uh, put it in water. These uh, lateral roots that come off of the uh, pawpaw get really, really br brittle. So I've had it in the water now for, for a little while. And uh, so what I'm going to do now is go ahead and put it into a, uh, another spot where I just brought a, a, a black walnut out of the ground. Okay, let's take a look at this pawpaw. Okay, first we'll take a look at the tree itself. And about 15 inches to the peak of the tree, to the apical bud, uh, about 15 inches. So it really was right here, about 14 and a half inches is the height of the tree. Now let's see this taproot because this was not easy to dig out. And of course I'm not going to be able to get it perfectly straight. All right. 
so we're at 61 inches and you can see it's still a little wavy here going all the way up so 14 and a half inch tree with 61 inch root system sorry about that so I just think it's really interesting to realize just how much uh, below the surface of the ground some of these root systems are and certainly I do recommend uh, doing any of the transplanting that you're going to be doing uh, doing it during the uh, fall after the, the leaves have turned color and you see them falling off the trees uh, that's the time to uh, the, the tree has gone into a dormant state it's much more capable of withstanding the transplanting process uh, we had a severe drought this year. Uh, we're supposed to get some rain tomorrow. We got uh, uh, two hundredths of an inch yes was it yesterday the day before. We've gotten almost an inch over the last 34 days. Uh, so we have gotten some rain uh, recently. So that's that's really good. Uh, and the uh, so I just want to t water down these roots pretty darn well. Get them into some nice soil. Uh, support the tree as well, try to protect it from the deer. A couple of the persimmons that I've got to transplant and all, and I'm really going to have to dig down deep, just like with this pawpaw, go down about five foot to get a little tree that's this big. Uh, but since we have a, a bumblebee, the mini excavator, it makes it a bit easier. But I just think it's fascinating to share with you the, the, uh, the extensive length of some of these tap roots, and, uh, and it really worked out being in the a heavily wood chipped area when you have hard gravel if you have sand I don't think it's as much of an issue I think it would be an issue with having to deal with clay especially during a drought as well so that's it for this video today uh, if you found it of value please give us a thumbs up share it with your friends uh, leave any comments or questions uh, I'm always interested in getting any feedback on these videos as well and remember, if you shop on Amazon, please click on our link down below. It doesn't cost you anything, but it helps our channel grow a little bit as well. Thanks so much, folks, and have a super fantastic day. Bye-bye now.